Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us on the uh, Software One webinar this morning on uh, Semantic Backup Exec. Uh, my name is David Blocks. I'm the Marketing Manager at Software One. Joined today by uh, two colleagues from uh, Semantic, Blake Rumford and Alex McIndo, who will go into uh, the main content of, of today's webinar session. Uh, before I hand over the, uh, the, the slides over to uh, Alex and Blake, I will uh, just give you a brief overview of Software One for those who are unfamiliar with the company. So Software One, we're, we're a global uh, licensing solutions provider um, covering not just Microsoft, Semantic and Oracle, and as you can see, quite a few certifications on there. We're in uh, 65 uh, subsidiaries, but covering over 85 countries in total. Uh, and we like to pool and uh, leverage our global resources and network to offer global expertise, but also local customer service. In addition to our licensing expertise, we also have uh, a Software One Technology Solutions Division, which houses our IT solution architects and uh, consultants to help you with regards to strategizing and uh, envisioning your, your IT strategy. And what our solution architects also do is align with our licensing consultants to ensure that we're providing the most commercially agreeable um, uh, IT investments for, for your business goals. So without further ado, I will hand over to Blake on the line and uh, pass you presenter rights. Okay. Okay, which is always easier said than done. But. <laughs> okay, Blake should be over to you. Okay. Right, so do you see the opening page of my presentation? Yes, we do. Yeah. Okay, excellent. So, good morning, everyone. My name is Blake Rumpet. I'm one of the technical pre-sales consultants at Symantec. Uh, I predominantly cover anything backup, exec, and also enterprise fault. So, the purpose of this morning's call, um, as we've already had introductions, is to discuss around backup exec 2012 um, and some of the benefits around that for organisations. Uh, Okay, so the first slide. Um, so Backup Exec 2012 is available, as everyone knows, software. Um, Backup Exec 2012 has been out for just over 20 years now in various different forms. Uh, very recently, with great success, we've also been selling the Backup Exec 3600 appliance. Um, these have absolutely been flying off the shelf. So the Backup Exec 3600 appliance, we'll come on to later on in the presentation in a little bit more detail, um, but it's basically Backup Exec 2012 in a box. So you have the storage on the back of it, uh, you've got the operating system, everything within one box and unlimited agents as well, so you don't need to worry about extra licensing. Backup Exec is also available as a cloud, um, that's kind of predominantly around uh, smaller setups, a little bit less complex than that of the actual Backup Exec 2012 software or likewise the appliance. Backup Exec 2012 um, is available to protect both virtual and physical environments as well. So you no longer need two separate products to back up your entire estate. So Backup Exec 2012, um, it's been out for around one year now. Um, it's brought in many great features into Backup Exec 2012. One of the main things is around, uh, particularly around bare metal recovery. So that's on the next slide. So what we can actually do with Backup Exec 2012, we can be backing up your physical environment. Uh, say, for example, if you're backing up a SQL Server, if that happens to uh, fail over the weekend, maybe on a Sunday, you can come into your office on a Monday morning. You identify the servers down, so you can actually do bare metal recovery, so you can restore onto dissimilar hardware. So if a certain brand of server falls down, you can actually restore onto a different brand of server. We can also do physical to virtual conversions as well, and that works within Hyper-Fee and a VMware environment. So for example, if you're backing up a physical server, that falls over, providing you have maybe an ESX host or a Hyper-Fee host, you can convert either on the fly or as a scheduled job, uh, you can convert the physical machine into a virtual machine and get that physical box up and running within your virtual environment, literally within a matter of minutes. So with Backup Exec 2012, we've brought in a couple of different ways of licensing. So in the past, it was traditionally done via agent and options routes. 
with back of set 2012 we now have what's called fee rare edition so this is solely aimed at customers who are predominantly virtual so if you have a customer who who has maybe um, two ESX hosts or 10 or 20 rather than having to think in the past about how many exchange servers they have how many SQL servers they have um, how many physical boxes they have you just simply need to price uh, or license it on a socket basis so for example if you have an ESX host or a Hyper-V host, uh, you just need to buy a license per socket uh, and that will give you unlimited agents for that virtual machine. That will also come with the media server license and deduplication. So on that note, deduplication has been available from Backup Set 2010. Uh, deduplication brings many great benefits to backing up your virtual or your physical environment. Um, one of the main things is obviously around reducing down the actual back-end storage, so when it comes to your backups, we actually do deduplication on the global level. So for example, if you're backing up an exchange server or a file server, um, you'd expect to see some duplicate files there. So maybe someone sent out um, a global email with a large PDF attachment. Rather than storing hundreds or thousands of copies of that on your storage, we actually only store effectively one copy and any new block changes. And we'd be doing that again across your entire physical or your virtual environment. When it comes to backup set 2012, regardless of which, which model you go for, you'll be able to do granular recovery. So through a single pass backup of your virtual machines or your physical machines, you could do a restore of, say, for example, your VMDK or your VHD virtual machine. From that, you can also do a granular recovery of, for example, your exchange data, so you could restore an entire information store or you could restore individual files, or even emails or mailboxes. With Backup Set 2012, it's also available in a small business edition. This is predominantly aimed at anywhere from one to three servers, and this again will come with the media server license and all the agents you require for that environment. Backup Set 2012, as mentioned, is available for physical, or virtual or both mixed environments and it can be licensed the traditional way agent and options or we can do capacity so if you have a customer with 10 terabytes of data when it comes to doing their full backup um, it takes some of the complexities out of uh, licensing and it include unlimited agent and options and there's no exceptions there whatsoever everything's bundled in backup set 2012 is a very scalable product so as mentioned from the small business edition, you could be backing up just one server or it could scale up to potentially hundreds of servers um, and you can also replicate various different sites. And of course we've got the Backup Set 2012 Fee Ray Edition which is available for Hyper-Fee or VMware environments which includes all application agents and also the media server and deduplication options as well. So here's an example of the bare metal recovery which we mentioned about. So just on the left hand side, this is the server which we're protecting. So we're backing up a physical box. Should this box fail, you can see here, we can actually restore this server onto dissimilar hardware. So it could be a different brand of server. So we can get your server up and running as quickly as possible and minimize downtime. No hardware disaster recovery. So again, this is an example going into the physical to virtual recovery built into Backup Set 2012. So if you're backing up a physical box, we can convert that into a virtual machine either on the fly, um, or we can do a scheduled job to maybe run every weekend. We can convert that physical backup into a virtual machine. So Backup 2012, uh, we've made uh, a number of changes to the user interface. Uh, we've predominantly made it what we call resource centric, so rather than creating policies and templates for creating backup jobs for multiple servers, you very much select the service you want to create a backup job for, and then you can add in different stages. So for example, you, you would say in this scenario, I want to be backing up this server here, I want to do a full and an incremental, and we can actually add in different stages. So this is an example of a backup job, we've selected a server here and it's defaulted to a full and incremental. Now if 
wanting to create a quite complex backup job, it's very easy to do. You simply hit this add stage here and you can daisy chain a number of different stages into one backup job. So for example, you could be saying I want to back up this physical machine. I then want to back it up on a full and incremental basis and specify this required schedule. And then you can add in additional stages which could include I want to back up to disk, then I maybe want to duplicate and copy that to tape. And then following this, I want to convert this physical backup into a virtual machine. And that can all be done within this separate window here and just daisy chain and add stage. So Backup Exec 2012 is available in an appliance form. As mentioned, this has been out for a while now, very successful, and that's called the Backup Exec 3600 appliance. So with the appliance, we're looking to reduce the complexity. So in the past, you'd have to, first you'd have to buy a server. You would have to work out how much storage you need on the back end of it. You'd have to install the operating system. And then when it comes to the backup environment, you'd need to install the media server onto the actual physical server. And then you'd need to start working out how many agents and how many options you'd need. For example, you'd need to work out how many file servers you had in your estate, exchange, active directory servers. So through the introduction of the backup exec appliance, we're really reducing down the complexity, risk, and we're adding value. So it's backup exec 2012 in a box. So the backup exec 3600 appliance is available in two different forms. There's one which is called the essential protection appliance and one called the total protection appliance. The physical hardware on both appliances are identical. They both have unlimited agents, therefore you can back up in theory as many services as you want, just depending on the actual capacity of the box. However, the more expensive of the two, the total protection comes with additional licensing, which enables you to connect two appliances or more appliances together, and run them as a parent and child configuration, and you can replicate data from one box to the other, therefore potentially eliminating the requirement for tape backups and allowing you to replicate data over to the secondary appliance in the event of a disaster, you've got all the data sitting on that second box. The Backup Exec 3600 has been optimized to run Backup Exec, so when it comes to deduplication, it takes the headache out of specking out the box with sufficient RAM for the amount of storage you're having to back up. Includes all you can eat backup exec agents. So again, you've got unlimited agents you can push out to as many servers as you want. And potentially eliminating the need for tape as we can replicate data from one site to the other. The same as backup exec 2012, the appliance you're able to do restores from anything from a physical machine to a virtual machine all the way down using granular recovery technology, down to the applications, down to the individual objects, for example, a user with an active directory, or simply an email with an exchange. This is the specifications of the Backup Exec 3600 appliance. So it's got 5.5 terabytes of usable storage on the appliance. This storage is actually running deduplication and compression. So depending on what you have in your environment, how much duplicate data you have, you'd be able to store potentially significantly more than that. So anywhere from 5.5 terabytes to 10, 15 terabytes, 20, really does depend on how much duplicate data you have in your environment. We've got dual SSD disks to run the operating system and the applications on to ensure that your applications are running as quickly and as efficiently as possible. The specification of the machine is laid out there. It's also got a SAS port on the back, so if you're wanting to connect in a standalone tape drive, you can do that, or fire additional licensing. If you're going for the cheaper appliance, uh, you can also connect in multiple tape drives to fire a SAS fan out cable and be backing up to multiple drives at once. Backup set 3600 appliance also comes with critical system protection to ensure the appliance is locked down and also the operating systems on there. The beauty with the backup of 3600 appliance 
is that ultimately it's one throat to choke. So if you have an issue with the software, if you have an issue with backup set, with the operating system, or even the actual physical box, it's just simply a case of reaching out to our support team, log in the ticket, and we'll take care of that. And there's also next business day on any hardware as well. So if the disk fails within the appliance, we can send one out. And it's just a case of just whipping it out, putting the new one in, and get your appliance up and running. This is just a high-level overview of the differences between the Essential Protection Edition and the Total Protection Edition. So as you can see on the left-hand side, we've got unlimited agents for both VMware and Hyper-V, and also for Windows, Linux, and Macs, and likewise application database agents. And on the right-hand side is the Total Protection Edition. Again, unlimited agents, the same hardware as that on the Essential, but there's also support for NDMP, so if you have a NetApp filer, you can use the NDMP protocol to back it up. And also there's more support for additional drives on the actual tape libraries, um, and there's the enterprise server option, which gives you the ability to replicate from one appliance over to the second appliance. So that's the end of the slides. Do we have any questions on the line at all? Okay, so probably the best way to um, do this is actually if you use your chat box facility um, uh, on the panel on on the, on, the, on your screen uh, rather than open the lines just in case there's uh, too much background noise. So uh, we'll, we'll just leave it open for a couple of moments and then uh, if not we'll, we'll wrap things up. Okay, then it looks like um, there's no more. Blake, thank thank you very much for uh, no problem. going through uh, today's session. There was uh, uh, some interesting aspects there, especially around the appliance piece as well. Um, if there are any sort of questions or inquiries uh, following today's session, please feel free to uh, contact your Software One account manager. We have recorded today's session as well, so uh, I'll make that available uh, as soon as possible. And um, just leaves me to say thank you very much again to, to Alex and, and Blake, and uh, thank you to everyone else for, for joining us on the call. Thank you.